Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Yo, back for another one. Can't wait to share this still with you guys. Uh, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. It's a nice little Friday. It's hot. We are, uh, California's having a little bit of a heat wave. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's going. So uh, that's the tank top. But anyway, um, again, everybody who was at the 28th um, book signing and wine tasting event at Eno, thank you so much. We could This could not have been possible without everybody coming and hanging out. We had great conversation, great wine, great food, uh, a lot of connections made there. Um, and we just, it was great, man. Um, uh, stay tuned for the next one, guys. Me and me and Armando are having a great time setting up new ones. We have one coming to the Cigar Bar. Uh, I'll drop the date very soon, but we have one going to the Cigar Bar in San Francisco um, in October. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, today we're just going to get into the wine. And yeah, let's get into the wine. Today we are in... Southern Rome. I was I did a Jig and Doss uh, like maybe a couple weeks ago, but we're doing with, we're going with the Big Daddy area uh, in Southern Rome. We're talking about Chateauneuf de Pop, 2019. This is called Jean 22 Reserve. Um, and let me see, show you that label. Hopefully you can see that. Of course, if you know it's uh, it's uh, from Chateauneuf de Pop, it is mostly Grenache, and then they can blend it with other grapes. Um, I know this one has some little bit of Syrah in it. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh, they're not telling me, which is cool. Um, normally, they throw a little uh, Mouvet or Cinso in there, too. Maybe some other stuff. But anyway, uh, let's get into the wine. On the nose. So I definitely get some, like, red fruit. I'm more on the cherry side. I'm also getting um, a cinnamon spice coming up, too. There's a little bit of like a liquor, a black licorice thing going on here too on the nose, which is kind of cool. Just go ahead and some red currant. Also with that, you're also getting like this, um, this, uh, let me see, black, um, kind of a black, what's the, hold on, let me check this one more time. That's what it is. Dark chocolate. I'm getting like a high concentration of dark chocolate here, like maybe like in the like the 80s and above uh, bitterness of the dark chocolate coming out. There's something herbal here, um, kind of like uh, now on the green side, a different type of herbs going on here. Also like a kind of a um, oregano or something, like a, something like that uh, that's going on here, like green, um, uh, like oregano. I think that's the right one. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Red raspberry too here. And even like a little bit of like white pepper. Let's go ahead and taste it and see what's going on in the palate. It's shining with the pot, baby. Yeah, it's good. Again, wild strawberry throughout the palate. It's kind of the first thing that hits my palate. I'm surprised to get it mostly on the nose, but it's like uh, kind of wild strawberry going on here. Let's talk fruit first. Wild strawberry, definitely some of that. Uh, it gets becomes more of a kind of like a Bing cherry in the mid palate along with the strawberry. Uh, you get some of those earthy notes along with like a little bit of spice in the, in the third quarter to the finish. Finish is extremely long. I'm still tasting in the back of my tongue but it's not clawing. Decent amount of acid to kind of elevate it a little bit. Tannins are... Let's do another. Tannins are medium. Um, this does have a very drying effect on the outside of the uh, palate, or, like all, all around like the, the gums and the teeth. Um, dang, that herb thing is starting to kick in too. Um, and the mid palate. It then kind of drops off on the finish. A little bit of bitter on the finish, which I dig. Um, like kind of like a, um, a green tea type of bitterness on the finish, but it's not over the top. It's still got the fruit there. So it's just a, it's just a, another element that's added to this uh, this little gumbo of uh, flavors here. Um, it's delicious wine. Very, very good. Very well done. Um, let's see if I was scoring this. Actually, let's take, take another sip. 
Some of that uh, oregano thing too, that green thing is there too in the third quarter. Feels like it picks up a lot more steam on the third quarter to the finish. Rating this, I'm probably looking at about... Um, 89 plus. I want to go 90, but I'm going to go 89 plus. Um, and the deal, the steal for this, you can find this actually at Trader Joe's. I got a, I saw it for $17, uh, which is a great price. It's under the, it's under the $20 rate, uh, like ceiling. And it, to me, it's tasting more like a $35 bottle of wine. It's delicious. And go check out your Trader Joe's. I'm, hof I'm hopefully they'll have this. Shannon to pop. This is an exquisite wine, um, for the price. And I pay more for it. So anyway, um, Wine Still of the Week will be right back. Check out my online store, fruitandglassgear.etsy.com, where all the gear is wine inspired. Um, I would think you'll love it. It's comfortable and just check it out. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. I also want to thank everybody who's been rocking with me thus far, who's been uh, championing my, my channel and sharing my videos and kind of, um, you know, engaging with me um, behind the scenes and DM and also, uh, you know, in the in, um, in the comment section. I, 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 I mean, you have no idea. I am um, definitely very humbled by, um, by people wanting to uh, see me win. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I really do. And I'm going to continue to put out content for you guys. Um, it's been a humbling week, and I'm just I'm just counting my blessings. After that uh, book sign, I just was like, I'm onto something, and it, and it hit me again. And I'm onto something, and then I thought about the people that have been supporting me, and I do I, I just truly thank you. Um, whoever is brand new to my channel, hope they engage with you, talk about wine. If you have any questions about pairing suggestions, I'm here for that. Uh, I'm always here for that. Um, and again, if you guys have not gotten a copy of It's a Vibe, just go to the link in my bio or click on the link that I'm going to put in the notes for this. Um, other than that, question of the day, um, I got a good one. Um, I actually don't even touch on to this, uh, area too much. Um, I have a versus and I'm going to go, um, Australia versus Chile. They tend to have hot climate in both places. Um, Chile gets a little colder depending, like at night, depending on where you are, what region you're talking about, but. I think also Australia has some colder places too. So I think it's a cool little versus. Let me know which one you like uh, better from as far as wine goes, either Australia or Chile. Guys, until next time, cheers. Thank you for, uh, again, for everything. Cheers.